a, a, a drunken man. I, I'm sorry, I, I really don't know what you're driving at. Is there anybody up there? Did not grow up, and still, while drawing pensions, they have revolutionary opinions and attend Rolling Stones concerts. That's a complete fabrication. You see, ad hominem and uh, ad hominem and interruption. Absolutely nothing remotely resembling reason, thought, or fact. And I wish he would conduct this debate in a fair and reasonable manner rather than in this, this sort of name calling. It's ever so slightly racist, isn't it? Racist. Completely baseless rubbish. Do you hear me go again? If you'll excuse me, what has this to do with my book? Absolutely nothing. What drivel this is. Why is our debate so debased that this, this is the kind of thing we are reduced to? Yeah, it's, it's, it's terribly clever, but this is a very serious subject, and you treat it with immense levity. You ask the question, you better listen to the answer. You interrupt me at every point. It's a sort of aggressive, blood-hungry, amoral, alleged comedian. Into my heart, an air that kills from yon far country blows. What are those blue, remember, hills? There you go again. No reason, just abuse. I, I mean to be polite. It's a sort of round, furry, squeaky thing which makes half-formed uh, human, human-like noises. But the fact is, your policy has already failed. You should be made to pay a special 80 pence in the pound tax. A tax on being insufferably left-wing. Come here to be quiet. You are eating things in the street. Grow up. Because I hold an opinion different from his, he has become suddenly a qualified psychoanalyst. I don't wish to be lectured on aggression by you. You've been extremely aggressive to me in the past when, we, when, when we've met. I'll have a skinny blueberry muffin. I, I'm Cornish. Hitchens is a Cornish name. I could set myself up. I could buy a large jumper and, and grow an enormous beard and become a Cornish nationalist. And, and no doubt subsidies and money would flow towards me. Yes, a collection of gangsters and homosexuals. Many of them are ludicrous. I had expected that. He cannot tell you seriously. Morning, ladies and gentlemen. Why this person incessantly wanted to have a fight with me over and over again, over the blueberry muffin, to wind up to draw poor, silly old conservatives out of their cave so that they can be made to look like bigots and fools and howled at and jeered at. It's ludicrous. Why is this person brought before select coffee shops? He simply isn't capable of doing it. And I do wish you would, you would, you would take all these disgusting skimmed milk producers and take them to a barn and burn them and learn to argue with a little bit more civilization. Yes. If that is low fat breakfast, I believe in the death penalty.